ice chips. Throw them against a huge fan. They're coming back at us at about 100 miles an hour. It's 50 below. Our skin is freezing, naturally. But because there's 10 times the UV radiation up there, our skin would be burning as it freezes. We're working out all day on a stepper every day for six or eight weeks and he perched the stepper on the edge of a 2,903 and a half story building. The air is so thin and dry. Whenever we breathe, it's more like coughing in and out <laughs> like this. And every time our heart beats, which is maybe 180 beats a minute, it's like a railroad train. It's going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth over our head. Does that sound like any fun to you at all? <laughs> it's really not. Less than 10% of those who ever attempt the mountain ever get to the top. And a pretty sad statistic is of that lucky 10%, if five folks were to successfully summit, one person will not come back alive. What does that have to do with me, you might say? And the answer might be up there. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Or perhaps it's that, everything. Isn't this a metaphor for life? There are things that are very difficult at home, at work, personally, professionally, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. We all have obstacles to overcome, don't we? And it's tough on Everest. It's tough in real life. It's tough in business and with families and so on. I would hope in your way you can relate to this. And my Everest story has everything to do with yours.